be showing y'all boys how to dribble that via 2K23. So yeah, if y'all boys enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. This works for next and current gen as well. So make sure you guys drop a like for that. I just wanted to say thank you guys for the recent support. But um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys, you know what I'm saying, the requirements that you guys need to, you know what I'm saying, do all the moves that I'm gonna show you guys in the via 2K23. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright guys, so as you guys can see right here, I have a 94 ball handle with a 93 single ball, and I have a 93 speed, 90 stamina, 86 excel. Alright, so these, you know, couple of stats that I just mentioned are very important if you guys want to dribble really fast. Um, you guys could also do this on like a 6 9 double club, but not really because, you know what I'm saying, you can only get certain moves on a 6 9 So, yeah, you can do some of the moves that I'm going to show you guys on a 6 9 but most of the time people are going to be on a 6 5 doing underbuilds when doing these moves. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right to the video. Alright guys, so these are the moves right here, okay? These are the moves right here. I got Chris Paul dribble style signature size of it. Obviously Steve Francis. It is literally the best six out of the game. It gets me up in so many times in the game. Size of the skate package guys to Kyrie Irving. We got to do this day I'm not gonna lie. But I just do Kyrie Irving because I think it's the most favorite game. Um my new crossover is James Harden, my moving behind the bag is Dane Lillard again. Moving spin is basic, my moving hesitation is Luka Doncic. My moving step back is, you know, different here and there. I like to do the Austin slide with normal step back and use Steve Francis as well. So that's why, you know, I'm saying I use Steve Francis. But if you guys are going to use Steve Francis and you guys would rather have like Trey Young or something or De'Aaron Fox, then use Luka Doncic's step back. Into the dribble story, I'm gonna show you guys the first move. Which the first move is gonna be Steve Francis cross. If you guys don't know what that is, a lot of people need to use this. This is one of the best, or the best signatures of the game. So, in order to do, to, to do this move, is basically what you guys have to do is you guys have to flick the right stick on whatever side the ball is. You guys don't do it at the three point line. Alright, run up the court and make sure your defender's in front of you because you guys don't do it when they're uh, in front of you. It's literally not gonna work. Alright, so just run forward, crab, and then run to the three. Right? So pretty much, man, that's pretty much the move, alright? So make sure that the defender's in, you know what I'm saying, in front of you. Run to like a little bit under the three point line and then flick down with the right stick and then just do the Steve Francis and run to the right. So flick down with the right one But yeah, that's pretty much the Steve Francis, the Austin slide into Steve Francis, Steve Francis Curry slide, that's pretty much what you call it. You can spam this back to back, and then, you know, you can go into the Steve Francis. But pretty much how you guys do this is all you guys have to do is not willing to just flick diagonally down to whatever side the ball is in, right? So the balls in my hand, just flick diagonally down to the left, right? And then the balls in my left hand, just flick diagonally down to the right. And then you guys can do this over and over. And, you know, you, you guys can just come up with the next time. 
pretty much all you guys have to do is go momentum into Steve Francis, momentum, Steve Francis, and then you guys could literally this move is so good, bro. Like this Steve Francis is so good. Right? So I showed you guys how to momentum, and then if you guys want to learn how to spam momentum, all you guys have to do is literally just if the ball's in your right hand, just flick diagonally up to the right, flick the left stick diagonally to the right. Pretty much, bro. To do the misdirection, all you guys have to do if the ball's in your left hand, just hold turbo. Alright, flick diagonally down to the right with the right stick, and then flick. As soon as you do that, flick down and down to the left with the right stick. Alright. So, you guys don't have to do it like right away, but it's pretty simple. If you guys don't understand, like if I'm talking too fast, then you can just do it. Alright, and then in order to do this move right here, this move right here, all you guys have to do is just flick the right stick diagonally up to do like a, like a normal hezzy. And then just flick down and the left stick down and down, right? Basically at the same time, right? You guys want to do And then the next one I'm going to show you guys is this one right here. It's very, very good to speed boost out. All you guys have to do if the ball's in your left hand is just hold turbo, flick the right stick, like literally straight over to the right, and then flick the left stick straight over to the right. So it's pretty simple. And then you guys can get into this one right here. Like you guys can do so, so much. Okay? You guys can do so much. I'm gonna show you guys the snatch back. This is the snatch back right here. This is the snatch back. I'm gonna show you guys the snatch back. That's the snatch back, right? And how you guys do the snatch back is the ball's in your left hand. Literally hold turbo, flick up with the right stick, then flick down with the left stick. Right? It's pretty simple. Next move I'm gonna show you guys is the crowd ball. Right? This is the crowd ball. Alright, right, sometimes I'm gonna. But don't use it unless you have Luka Doncic step back. Not gonna it's not going to be too good, right? So this is what the spin back looks like. 